got the social medias, we got the social medias. You got the Facebooks, we got the Facebooks. You got the Twitters, we got the Tweeters. We got the uh, Instagrams, we don't really use that one too much, but you know, we're on there too. If there's something else, we probably got it. You can find them all in the description at the bottom. There is a debate that uh, some of us engage in between <laughs> Wawa and Sheets establishments. Everyone's got their favorites. So, what are your favorites, Brittany? <laughs> so, oh God, you're going to start with Brittany. I'm going to start. She's like the worst um, candidate to yeah, ask Yeah, I'm like the worst candidate to ask. Um, I have eaten a Wawa like one time. Yeah. Oh. And it was after camping at Magstock, which generally after camping for four days, any food is good food. But I don't know <laughs> if this particular Wawa wasn't good or what, but they did had nothing that I wanted. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm normally into rice bowls, but I don't know. Nothing there looked good. So I have to go with sheets <clears throat> because I've only ate it one Wawa and it wasn't very good. <laughs> and I really don't get the hype about Wawa. So I'm team sheets as well, but I've actually eaten at several Wawa's. So at too many games, there's a Wawa right next to us. So yep. I went and ate there several times for once and actually Brittany did too and didn't know it. <laughs> Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> All those sub sandwiches we got were Wawa sandwiches. Are you talking about the first time we went to too many games? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. was drunk the entire time. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was drinking warm whiskey <laughs> Ooh, yeah. in the parking lot. So <laughs> Yeah, so never like went a inside. fucking rebellious teenager. <laughs> yeah. But um <laughs> smoking cigarettes and punching <laughs> cops. Wawa has one thing over sheets, and that is the gobbler. And that is their Thanksgiving sandwich <laughs> that they serve nearly all year round. That is a turkey sub with mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce, and gravy. Oh, and, God. Right. And uh, that's my favorite thing that they serve. I have never had that. that I don't like know if I can. I <laughs> just like love squeeze it. the sub and mashed potatoes come out yes. either side. Yes. It's but like it's a slightly twinkie. red mashed it's potatoes. It's like a Twinkie, but it's <laughs> Thanksgiving oh, dinner. God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It is. It's so good. Yeah. That's the best thing they have. <laughs> so I can appreciate both. Like, so we don't have any Wawa's in North Carolina. I mean, nope. once we go visit, you know, we, we pass the Virginia border. Um, they're there. Um, but <laughs> the nice thing about the food is everything at Sheets is deep fried. That's true. Mm-hmm. Almost everything. Wawa, everything's more like it's, it's definitely fresher. Yeah, it's it's definitely fresher, like, more home style sort of right. like home kinda. style. <laughs> yeah, well, like think about like you know like gravy ba- sandwiches, baked chicken tenders, and like <laughs> macaroni. Oh, to be fair, the thing that I brought up is their most bullshit concoction. <laughs> mm. uh, they have if you want to go and get like a decent sub, they're really great about that. If you want to go get like a a healthy meal at a gas station, it's a, probably your best choice. I mean, Sheets has the Hollywood yeah, but, snack, so. But who the fuck <laughs> wants to go to a gas station? Like, I understand Wawa's selling point is like, oh, we're fresh and yeah. healthy. But when I go to a gas station to get food, I don't think fresh and healthy. I think with scotch and cheese bites. Thank you, Sheets. I'm going to get a nice salad yeah. with some vegetables on the side or whatever. I'm going to get a super yeah. trustworthy salad. Yeah. Uh, I will say they do have one healthy thing at uh, Sheets, which is not healthy at all, but it's the healthiest thing they have. It's their nachos, mm-hmm. and I get pulled pork on it. And gu- It's uh, the healthiest thing they have? <laughs> it's nachos with pulled pork no, on it? Absolutely not. Salads and <laughs> they have stuff. salads and sandwiches and burritos. Yeah. And stuff. That's, I no. get salads that's from Sheets real. all the time. The, those salads aren't real. <laughs> that's, just, that's just like... Fake advertisements. I get just, uh, salads and uh, like fruit cups and stuff from Sheets all the, the time. The fruit cups are pretty good. Yeah, their um, their baked goods, their donuts are amazing at Sheets. Yeah. yeah, I mean, hell, I went there last night and I got just like a six thing of them. So that was did the you wor- <laughs> did you know? I just looked up the origins of the Wawa name. Huh. Oh, um, it is actually a portmanteau of the or like an abbreviation of the creators or like the original owner of Wawa's. Um, his name was Walter Wario, um, <laughs> hence Wawa. And <laughs> Wawa. <Yeah. laughs> That's amazing. You yelled at a guy wearing a Wawa shirt one time. I did. On like our charity. Oh yeah, marathon. you got into a fight with a guy wearing a Wawa shirt. It wasn't shirt. a, it wasn't a fight. physical no, 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 altercation. No. He was just there, berating I just him. I berated him because I like fresh locally sourced gas station food <laughs> is such an insane thing. <laughs> like like think about it. Like you 
Your father was a long haul trucker. Oh yeah, he would say fuck um, that noise. He, yeah. <laughs> he would say fuck that noise. He would have stopped at like a subway or something like that. My he dad stopped at fucking Outback Steakhouse. Yeah. Oh we had, No, I mean like I've never Hey Frank. He, <laughs> what do you think totally, about this, Frank? He's totally oh man. Aww. Frank joined the so shop. Part for of a the joy of a road trip is eating raccoon trash. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and agreed. like Wawa doesn't make me feel that like if i'm if i'm riding in a car back from getting weird somewhere mm-hmm. I'm, i don't want to stop and get a fresh sandwich uh yeah ditto yeah like i want something that's gonna like hurt keep, my body a yeah, little bit always yeah. always oh yeah. that sounds terrible for for our drive though like i i get it but like oh you need a nice driving salad <laughs> But I feel I'm not like about if that I'm going to eat healthy, though, I'm going to go a step further and not go to a gas station. I'm just going to actually go <laughs> to like, I, a I restaurant. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? I don't know if I even want to like like argue that it's healthier because, I mean, a lot of the shit they have definitely isn't. One of my favorite things is like they give you like little like um, rolls, like um, – I, I, I forget, the yeast like, rolls, the yeast rolls, okay. with like like, so, uh, like like some melted golden, golden corral, golden corral. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's that Except good, better. healthy golden corral energy. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's really the thing about golden corrals, fucking yeast rolls, is that they're sponsored by Jeff, Jeff Foxworthy. Still, like, still. I don't know what that means. He sponsors the rolls. <laughs> he, there are a little. Average, Jeff Foxworthy branded. This, this brand understand. brought to you by. <laughs> All over, like, Golden Corral, there's pictures of Jeff Foxworthy talking about, did you know you can take a whole box of rolls home with you? Oh, my God. <laughs> or, Amazing. I have to explain my disdain for Golden Corral and most uh, buffet styles similar to that. Not only do I the, do I think the food is just terrible, oh, um, when I was um, nine years old... Mm, me and my mom and my dad, my, my real dad, we were homeless for, like, about six months... And we would go, like, I would wake up in the morning, and I'd have no breakfast. I would go to school. I would eat school food, whatever it was. Hopefully, it was good that day, um, because I was a very picky eater as a kid. And then at night, we'd always go out to eat somewhere, (laughs) because we didn't have a kitchen to cook in. And my dad always, always wanted to go to this fucking buffet called Western Steer. Yep. Oh, I remember Western Steer. Almost, like, every fucking day, he wanted to go to this place. And so, I ate there. I ate there so many times in this period of my life that was terrible yeah and also my dad was the type of person too that like we were at a buffet but even though we all were still eating when he was finished everyone else in the family was finished too so if you still have food on your plate you still were eating but he was finished oh well you had to get up and go and he just fucking loved this place and i hated it yeah and so going to those buffets remind me of that time in my life and i just don't ever go to them anymore which is why the one time i wanted to go to golden corral when we like first moved to raleigh it was just us three yeah, <laughs> yeah. and i was like i'm good you guys just go and that was on. the last time i've been there that was the last time i went we to should golden corral. we should go to by the one way of the fancy buffets in vegas like mm-hmm. bacchanal mm-hmm. or something Ooh, like that oh yeah and just see if uh, I still get the if like, you still get the jeebs the, the tingles <laughs> the Hebrew jeebs <laughs> that was funny when my parents went to Vegas I just suggested them like all these really fancy buffets yeah. and whatnot they had a blast yeah but my parents also go to Golden Corral so we uh, <laughs> when I was when I was in Vegas not that long ago mm-hmm. we went to one of those and it was mm-hmm. fucking good I mean it was absurdly delicious I went to uh, just in Myrtle Beach I went to an all you can eat seafood buffet mm-hmm. and they had like fucking crab legs on it yeah it was boy. like twenty five dollars. I just like stayed there for like mm. three days. It felt like so the nicest, <laughs> the nicest like buffet thing, buffet type of food I've been to was um, actually we went to too many games last summer and we went to a Brazilian steakhouse. Yeah, and all, obviously they come around with the meat to like <laughs> try cut to off hurt for you, your body, but you can go up to like the buffet style and get like a salad and like little crackers and cheese and, yeah. and like soups and shit like yeah, that. The and that Tuesdays was really classic salad. Bar. Yeah, <laughs> and that was really nice. <laughs> Excuse me, at so the garden bar. That oh, you're right. That one didn't give me the like weird western steer tingles. So that one was, <laughs> that one was fine. <laughs> well, on top of that, though, we also had like some amazing food coming out to us. Yeah, oddly yeah. enough, my favorite thing I ate there chicken liver was not was not meat at all hmm. they came out with a grilled piece of cheese that they poured honey over oh, oh yeah Ooh. i'm on that i'm about that life yeah. and i was like can i have another one of these yeah. like as soon as i had a bite into it 
Dude, so Braza here. They um, have you been to Braza? I haven't been to the Braza here. Mm-hmm. No. So um, they uh, a lot of, yeah, they, they they have pineapple uh, on a skewer. I don't mm. know if they give you that. It's like but... cinnamon and sugar. Yeah, and they just like slice off chunk right. really of. It's so good. It was really good. That the tiny little cheese breads. Yeah. Um, I've removed myself from the Wawa v Sheets fight because, like, in going to Japan, a lot of the food options that most people like engage with on a day to day is like uh family mart uh lawson's and 7-eleven mm-hmm. which are all kind of like can like it's kind of like a gas station but it's in the middle of the city so it's not actually a gas station mm-hmm. just like a little convenience, little convenience store. store and <clears throat> the quality of food that i got there was phenomenal <clears throat> um and now I'm just angry that American 7-Elevens are shit so compared to that. Every time I watch videos about Japanese 7-Elevens, yeah. I get really fucking angry. It's yeah. fucking good. <laughs> um, like you can, I got a, I got a like a, a barbecued pork rice ball. It was like a dollar fifty. That's insane. And it was insanely oh. good. Mm-hmm. And then I also got a tall boy of beer, and I ate and drank outside, and mm-hmm. no one shot me. Yeah, that's great. Wonderful. So uh, like. Uh, Lawson, like Wawa or Sheets, fuck both of them. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I mean, compared to that, Whoa, yeah. Watch. I, oh, I, <laughs> hey, hey, you just you brought us up the this discussion, and he was I, like, no. fuck well, both oh, of oh them. yeah, no. If, if we're going to talk about Japan, you know, convenience stores, they've got that shit down on lock. Right? Yeah, like I, I watch Michael Chen's videos. Like that dude eats everything in a st- given store in one mm-hmm. go, and yeah, like oh, that shit looks so good. Yeah. I'll, I'll also, Sheets has another thing that they actually are sponsors of one of our good friends, Zelda. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't see Wawa out there supporting <laughs> sponsored fucking. Sponsored by Sheets? They are sponsored, they are by, sponsored sheets. by Sheets. <laughs> and, uh, hey, nerds, we know it's three o'clock in the morning and you've played that League of Legends for 35 hours. <laughs> yeah. Come no, get some hot dogs. They had some people. Oh, we're going to keep talking about yeah, this yeah. for a minute. We're going to talk about yeah, this for another five minutes. We talked about it for like five yeah, minutes yeah, when yeah, we yeah. decided to go with the timer. <clears throat> so. I was really, really excited about the fact that Sheets uh, was sponsoring them because it also happened to be the year we were there. Yeah. And they just showed up with, like, all these fucking snacks. Nice. And nice. It, was a, it was a good time. But... Uh, there was also Sheets within kind walking of distance. precarious walking. <laughs> it like, was, had was to like, jump, like, walk across well, the railroad there was, like, highway. there was, like, yeah. no sidewalks. And mm. it was essentially, like, a very busy highway type of thing that had, like, a crosswalk, but it didn't change very often. So we kind of just said, fuck it, and ran across. <laughs> you, you had to, what, the sidewalks, you had to cross a, um, a, store, a store selling um, crystals yeah. <laughs> and then cross over to a cemetery and then yeah. cross over to the sheets. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's, that's a good sign. Set up. You can stop and get your crystals to ward <laughs> off the evil spirits and then go to sheets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, then yeah. you can buy a second crystal on the way back to purge your bowels. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then, and then there was the, um, what was, there was a, the, the other conven- um, souvenir shop. It yeah. had a frog on the. It had like a grasshopper <laughs> on the outside and it was I really creepy. We, we walked in. And I have had... a picture. Ding, we'll put it in the video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 we won't because I hope MC never watches this because we have triangulated the fuck out of where they. Oh, yeah. We yeah. have, haven't we? Yeah. Whoops. So, no picture. Sorry. Just imagine it. <laughs> just blur out everything we said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just one long beep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, the rice places in Japan are what I'm really excited about. I want to go because uh, they have a lot of fast food yeah. rice bowl places that yeah. I like under $5 and you get a whole complete yeah. fucking meal. Yeah. That sounds mm. amazing. And um, when we went recently, a uh, lady friend wanted to not just eat at 7-Elevens. Yeah. <laughs> Because it is tempting. <laughs> well, because, like, they have... No, uh, I'm kidding. Like. They have this, like, fried chicken. Like, it's a, a chicken nugget, but it's three times the size of a normal chicken nugget. Mm-hmm. So it's, and it's like just a chicken like, ball? It's, it's like one chicken patty. Oh, okay. Um, and they don't trim all of the fat off. Oh. So it's, like, super juicy and I'm delicious. I sure probably like that. Mm. You would. Would it's I? It's fucking okay. dank. Yeah. Um, it's real mm. good. I'm already excited. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> step up your who- shit. Get rice balls that I can get for a dollar, and it's still like a filling, satisfying meal. I will meal. say, is, sheets is or sheets, Wawa. sheets could fucking like ruin America by upgrading their food. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Like they are like honestly, I thought Sheets was like already kind of like, hey, you know what? Every gas station, fuck you. Yeah, already yeah. in America. But what if they just went to like Japanese level? 
Yeah, that would be dank. Like I, I would fully endorse that and support that. Because when I first, when Sheets first opened, the reason I went there is because they had a million drinks. Yeah, like yeah. so many drink options. Yeah, and now is, they've kind of backed off on is that. Is Wawa open twenty four hours? Yeah, like mm-hmm. Sheets is. Yeah, okay. same sort of deal. Okay. Um, I will say that Sheets does have an amazing egg salad sandwich. <laughs> yeah, you eat the shit out of them. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. Egg salad sandwich. So when we lived with Hutch, I, gained... I would not trust an egg salad sandwich from Sheets. <laughs> so I've seen. Sushi at Sheets before. Uh, I haven't seen it in a uh, while. I have not seen that. Ooh. Back when they we doing it. lived like a few years ago, we lived in Greensboro and we were trying to tell some friends like, hey, we know this really good sushi place and this one guy was like really gung-ho about it, but we also were like, but that guy also eats Sheets <laughs> sushi, so whatever. <laughs> yeah, we were kind of like, He's don't like, listen it's to good. him. He's like, it's really good. Like, just, just try some. We're like, no, I'm not eating <laughs> Look, gas I get it. There's sushi. no sushi places in Mount Airy, but... <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Wait, now there is one. And no. now he doesn't eat seats, seats sushi anymore. Yeah, uh, they don't have it there. She, that one. He eats sheets sushi by the seashore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I will say um, what I really, really want is not just for them to get up in quality. Yeah. As far as like uh, ja- uh, Japanese food, like, yeah, you could make American quality food, whether Wawa sheets, whatever. Yeah. Whether it's fresh or whatnot, I don't care. I don't want them to do that. No, I want them to make Japanese food at Sheets. Mm. I want rice balls. I yeah. want I want the food that I can get in Japan here. Mm. <laughs> that that's just a good business opportunity I, uh, for a, a side venture to yeah. start <clears throat> doing that sort of stuff. I, I thought about writing a letter to <laughs> to Seven Eleven <laughs> and being like, "Hey, I've been overseas, like." What are you doing? What are you doing? Even in Australia, Sheets or like Seven Eleven is better than it is here. Yeah, uh, Seven Eleven is like not existent in North Carolina yeah. anyways until like a couple of years ago. Right. And man, when I lived in Florida, I lived at Seven yeah. Eleven. I had banana Slurpees and Dairy Queen, and I went to the beach every day. So <laughs> is is your love for Seven Eleven the Slurpees mainly? Because every time I've been in there, I've wanted to just get right the <laughs> fuck out. Because everyone I've taken you to has been a trash. Yeah, buyer. everyone yeah. that we hit on the way up to DC is really bad. Yeah. Like they're the worst Seven Elevens I've ever been in. It's yeah. like I, I feel like if I never need, need to use the restroom one of those things, I have to like go mm. over there like their cleaning closet and then <laughs> right. down a dark tunnel and then eventually yeah. there's this, a dark room. and there's a room without a doorknob. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and some guys like, hey, you like your kidneys? Yeah. So. <laughs> the Seven Elevens that I grew up with in Tampa are like the sheets the that we're dealing of with 7-11s. now. Okay. Yeah, and uh, with the exception of the one time hurricane hit and I like canoed into a Seven Eleven to get some snacks. <laughs> 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 he like took some taquitos off the grill and like threw some dollar bills like on no the I, I just counter. I just straight up stole snacks off there because there was <laughs> we were out store, of food. looting stories <laughs> <laughs> Florida looting stories I was nine years old I had a canoe he was a nine year old Florida man <laughs> and there was three feet of water and I was out of food <laughs> okay so I went and stole like a guy batch of Cheetos <laughs> Cheetos huh. <laughs> That'll keep you it sounds like <laughs> going through the night. <laughs> well, at the, at the worst, you can just spread them out on the floor and they'll suck up all the water. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. I mean, to be fair, this is a nine-year-old decision we're talking about. Right <laughs> Where were your parents that you were just canoeing around and during he a hurricane? Have parents when he lived in Florida, Brittany. I, I I used to jump on trains. No one in to get Florida to has Tampa. parents. They just <laughs> crawl out of the swamp <laughs> and then find each other and are like, "We're a family now." Look, my parents were just glad I came home sometimes. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> oh no, they God. weren't. Like, I'm just there's a reason saying. why we moved to North Carolina. Okay, we need to just have like a Brian story time. We need to get time. Brian away from trees. <laughs> <laughs> trains, trains, Tra- not trees. I was about to say there's more trees up here. Yeah, I had palm trees down there and swamps. <sighs> Fucking swamp, Brian. <laughs> I was a, I was a swamp kid. So if we settled on both are terrible. I mean, I think I or did I, I lead the witness too much? I, I'm, I think you did. I'm, I'm team sheets, but caveat, caveat, caveat. I would love to have some Japanese food. Sheets, come on, yeah, do it. Seven. I don't give a fuck. They're probably listening or watching or whatever. Um, I do know the sheets representative that works with Zelda's on. So, <laughs> so I, I could send them a video. 
if I had like both in front of me, like I would probably go wow, wow if I had to eat somewhere. Like I, okay. I'm not even like eating. Are you trying I, to pretend like you're healthy? No, I'm really not. <laughs> I just really like the fact that not everything that they do is deep fried over okay. wow, wow. I don't think anything they do is deep fried over there. Actually, they, they don't they have, have a single deep fried. They have egg salad sandwiches at Wawa. I don't think they do. Mm, what so, you gonna do about that then? I, I get the chicken bacon <laughs> ranch <laughs> flatbread. Chicken bacon ranch, flatbread. and I feel a lot Way better about it. Healthier. It's really good. <laughs> All right, but for real. Sheets has non-deep fried things. They do. They yeah. Do. Like pizza and hot dogs. <laughs> no, the hot, hot dogs are... are <laughs> wait, no, I mean, I'm thinking the chili. The hot dogs are definitely deep fried. That's no, not they're what? microwaved. Yeah, no. they're microwaved. The That's ones why that, they don't have texture. Yeah. The ones I have, te- have been eating uh, have texture. I don't think so. The one, like, the one next to us, like, next to Hutch does, because... Uh, Sheets fine. <laughs> Guess That's we're gonna okay. have to go get some hot dogs to find out. <laughs> right? Don't do it. They are like I really a don't they're really bad. Dollar. I feel like you'll get worms from those hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> they're just worms. Yeah. Legally. <laughs> they're, they're, they're just, the <laughs> yeah. hot dog itself is the worm. It's a big fat worm. <laughs> oh. oh. All right, but okay, but for real though, Royal Farms and their fried chicken. Eh. I haven't Royal had it. Farms. Royal Farms is another like Sheets and Wawa like like store a, that's only in like, like Maryland. Baltimore, no, Maryland. I'm not, and they, I don't they want to spend chicken. time in Maryland. No, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure That's last fair. time I ate at Royal Farms, I got diarrhea. So, yeah. oh yeah, that was on our way up to too many games. Yeah, when we were scared to like spend a lot of money. So the company sent us on this trip with their company card, and they're like, get food and whatever on the company card. But Brian and I had never done this before, and we were by ourselves, and we were like, I don't know how much money we can spend on yeah. ourselves. So we ate at like really shitty places. And then uh, one night we went to the Brazilian steakhouse and spent like $110 and we were like really nervous about it. And we got back and the like guy in charge of finances was like, you guys didn't spend any money at all. <laughs> like he was disgusted with us. He was like, and Brian's like, we did. We went out to like TGI Fridays or whatever. And he was like, that is not going out to eat. Like he was super mad at us. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry not- we didn't abuse our relationship yeah. with this company more. <laughs> Yeah, especially, like, we made so much money on that trip that yeah. they were like, did you sell your bodies? Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. And, and we were super nervous at the Brazilian Steakhouse because we were like, eh, here we go. But Well, and with that, I think we're overall, Sep Hutch, Team Sheets or Team Fuck It. <laughs> team Fuck It. <laughs> team Make Some Japanese Food. <laughs> yeah. Chicken Bacon Ranch. You can get that at Subway. <laughs> But then I have to eat at Subway. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. Their chicken is not real. I'm a fine per. Yeah. I'm a fancy boy. I, just, I only eat it Wawa. I just want to eat real food. That's all. That's, I mean. Wawa. Wah. We start calling it Wawa. Wawa. <laughs> <laughs>